How you guys all doing? Good? Um, my name is Mike Della Rocha. Uh, a couple days ago, I was actually at an event, and the best intros have to share this. Um, they said, hey, this is Mike. Uh, he fights crime and plays music. So <laughs> I fight crime and play music. Um, I want to talk to you about something I'm really passionate about, and that's uh, utilizing our gifts and talents to change the world. Um, I believe that every one of us is born with a distinct purpose in life. You can call it a purpose or a dream, a dharma, or even a calling, but all of us is destined to do something big in service to the world. So as someone that believes that we can change the world by changing ourselves, I want to share with you two ideas that continue to inform who I am today. The first, embrace your fears. I'm gonna ask you to suspend your judgment for the next 10 minutes or so and think about a social justice cause or issue that may call out to you but you haven't really gotten involved in because maybe you felt too distant or separated from that issue or maybe you just felt pessimistic that you couldn't really make a difference. I'm here to say that you can and I hope you'll follow me in this journey. Two, is that art heals. It heals communities, it heals people. And in particular, music plus stories can change the world. I'm gonna share with you one example of many of a tour that's using music and stories to inspire people to stop violence across America. So I'm gonna start where it all began for me as a child. Ever since I was a child, I always wanted to be an artist. Like, but not just any artist, an artist that made a difference an artist that mattered. When I went to high school, it was artists like Bob Marley, John Lennon, U2, and even Public Enemy that only, not only taught me who I am, but helped inform how I could make a difference in the world. As I got older, I was in band after band. I was in group after group, wanting to play music. And then four years ago, I had a big idea. It was this bold idea that I was gonna use my music as a vehicle to stimulate conversations around this country around the issue of violence. But four years ago, if I want to be honest, I was scared. You see, I didn't have enough confidence in myself. I was insecure. And I kept coming up with reasons why I couldn't do that. Mike, you're too old. You got a family. You can't even hear my songs on the radio. You know what? You're just an independent artist without a big corporation supporting you. How are you gonna pull off this tour? And then one year ago, something magical happened. Something that literally changed the core of who I am. One year ago, my wife and I found out that we were gonna be parents to this beautiful little boy, Mio Amiri Della Rocha. And since that moment, I knew I had to follow my dream, my passion. Not because I was fearless all of a sudden, but because I had to go despite my own fears and insecurities. I had to do something to make this world better for my little girl and my little son. I had to make the world a little bit better than it was today. So Walter Anderson once said that courage is always in only one thing. It's acting with fear, not without it. To be brave, we must be afraid. So with nothing more than an acoustic guitar, actually this guitar right here, and a strong desire to work with and learn from people, I created the Living Rooms Across America tour, a tour that took me to 10 cities and 10 states in the 10 weeks leading up to the presidential election. Through the tour, I got to go into the homes of complete strangers and play music and facilitate conversation around some of the toughest issues of our time. Through the tour, I learned that people were hungry, were hungry for connection and a genuine sense of community. People wanted to be a part of something greater than themselves. But as I was doing this tour, as I was going across the country, I've been working on the issue of violence prevention, criminal justice reform for almost 15 years. And every time I was doing this, I realized one thing that was missing, one fact in particular kept coming up to my mind. And that fact was, Every single day, every single day in America, 34 people are murdered. That's 34 loved ones, that's 34 families that are missing, a lover, a son, a daughter, a parent, 
It's victims that are coming to Christ. And at that point, I knew that I had to do something different this year. So this year, we're touring and going to five of the most violent cities in America and directly working with victims of crime and violence and connecting them with policymakers and cultural influencers like yourselves as a way to have a dialogue, a conversation. What I found was that people all across this country, regardless of background, want to do something around the issue of violence. I literally just flew in from New York an hour and a half ago. I had the honor of performing at the offices of a civil rights legend, Harry Belafonte. And in this conversation, I had a young woman, and an older woman that was mentoring her. Her name is Erica Ford. She's been working in Queens, Jamaica, Jamaica, Queens, and New York for 30 years trying to get young people to stop killing themselves. And then the whole time she was like, Mike, can you please just, just do your lane? Can you please just bring, have the new mayor understand that violence prevention is not just building more prisons, it's not just more cops, it's believing in us. Every community, regardless if it's on a high crime area or not, has all the assets and talents to make a, and create a safer and more healthy community if we believe love and support them to do so. Eli Weasel once said that very few people make history, but it is given to all of us to participate in history. So I'm gonna ask you to please join me in making history. I'm gonna ask you to suspend your judgment and believe in the impossible. Don't ever let anybody ever tell you that we can't stop gun violence in America or that we can't fix our broken education system or that we can't stop global warming because the fact of the matter, what TED is, is a forum that tells us that we can. The solution to gun violence, when I've been finding all across this country, the solution exists not only inside and outside of this room, but the solution is us. Literally, the solution is you and I. So I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna really ask you to please help heal the soul of America by simply healing yourself. I'm gonna ask you to embrace your wildest dreams and embrace your wildest fears because in doing so, you're gonna follow your purpose in life and purpose is only your passion and service to the world. And in doing so, you will help reduce violence. So in closing, I'm gonna share my purpose, my song, my message. A song that I wrote that has just a really simple thing that says the most radical thing that we could do, the most revolutionary thing that we could do to make the world a better place is simply to just be you. So um, this song goes out to my, uh, my little baby boy and girl.
Just be. 